law firm to be part of this event and everybody joining forces exactly to showcase how great Cyprus is to the world. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, please go ahead. Good morning, everybody. Um, first of all, being a romantic Greek, I'd like to mention that uh, in my early morning run, I was passing the, the Amatos, the old ancient, the ancient city, just to remind myself that uh, we're sitting here today in a, in a venue of a country which has got four or five thousand years of history, um, a room which is full of enthusiasm, I'm quite surprised to see that, you know, a smiling face is first thing in the morning at nine o'clock with Nico's usual punctuality. I'd like to thank Nico again once more for daring to appoint me as the chairman of this venue. And basically, during the course of the day, we're going to be covering quite a few issues and topics which probably may be somewhat confrontational because of the contradictions which exist in the new regulations. I'm sure we'll probably, at least I've been enlightened to a certain extent uh, by having to read up on it before I even came here. Mm -hmm. Finally, I'd like to say that the, I'm very glad to see that the, that the actual country and the infrastructure has taken one step forward in terms of improving the, the ability of, of uh, formulating a structure which will help the shipping industry with a new ministry. I'd like to first of all thank uh, also Marius Mediales who known for some many, many years, and perhaps with a touch of, uh, again, with uh, emotion, I must say that, in my mind, he's been a man of character, full of enthusiasm, and totally committed to the work which he undertook when he took off in the ministry. Bravo, Maria, and again, you'll always be a good friend. <laughs> Finally, even though being in Cyprus, which has got 5,000 years of history, um, it's probably somewhat embarrassing to have to quote an American philosopher by the name of Edwin Land. I think, ladies and gentlemen, this applies to the audience here and definitely to this beautiful country, which has been always been so hospitable, so professional, has achieved so much in such a short period of time. The man I'm quite quoting is a guy called Edward Land. He was the inventor of the Polaroid camera. And what I'm going to mention now, maybe you can take note of it, and when you get up in the morning, put that in front of you and just skim through the reading, brief reading, and you'll find that you'll finish your day full of, day full of enthusiasm. He mentioned the following. Never undertake a project in life unless it is manifestly important and virtually impossible. Dear Cyprus, you've done it. Thank you. Thank you. you know, we have to try to keep the time. I hope we will. By the way, uh, I would like to invite uh, the minister to come and uh, give us his official address. I would like to mention, as I said yesterday, that uh, the, the reason that this event uh, started was uh, it was really at the uh, initiative of Minister Dimitriadis when, when he was in New York two years ago, approached me and said, Nico, you do great events. It's time that you do something in, uh, about Cyprus in Cyprus. And then he doubled up and he said, you need to do something about Cyprus also in New York, which we did. Uh, and his initiative was immediately followed by Paulus Svaciloanu, we said, Nico, you heard what needs to be done. Let's move ahead and do it. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Andreas uh, has prepared to also join force and Mr. Soler from Colombia, and then here we are today. Uh, so it is really very fitting that we have the great opportunity to have uh, Minister Dimitriadis with us today uh, to thank him for all he did and also to thank him for bringing us on board. Please join us. And uh, by the way, Natasha Pilidis will be with us very soon. Uh, so we're, as uh, Socrates mentioned yesterday, so we'll see from Dr. Fee, he said, Nico, if you hit it spot on timing wise, you have the current minister and the new minister, how lucky can we be? Thank you.
morning, everybody. Um, let me start by, of course, expressing my pleasure for being here today. Um, we have a full room again, same as last year. So, Nicolas, congratulations. Uh, I remember when we met uh, in New York, and of course, Capital Link is organizing all these wonderful events all over the main uh, shipping hubs of uh, the world. So, of course, Cyprus could not be absent from this. And this shows the development that we have seen in our maritime cluster in Cyprus over the last four or five years. And I think everybody in this room should be proud of this. Um, of course, uh, Capital Link is one of the leading financial advisor in communications firms. And I am grateful that you are here today. Um, I had a look at the program. There is a, this is a great conference, great speeches. I think it would be very interesting for everybody. Um, George mentioned that we have achieved a lot over the last uh, years. It's a fact. I remember back in uh, March 2014, that was when I became a minister. And, and I remember that uh, even though shipping, of course, has always been very successful in Cyprus and it's been the hard work of many people. Um, back at that time, it was just after the big crisis. Um, so I needed that we have to give another push to the shipping sector. And, and of course, together with the cooperation of all my associates at the ministry, I do believe in the private sector, which was uh, pivotal in all this, what we've done. I believe that we have managed to do so. And uh, currently, today, I can uh, say that uh, Cyprus has become one of the leading shipping hubs in the world. Don't forget that we offer services to more or almost 5% of the world's uh, fleet. And uh, even though um, the traditional activity of Cyprus shipping has been ship management, I do believe that over the last uh, few years, we have managed to attract more ship owners in Cyprus, additional activities within the maritime cluster. And I believe that we have an almost complete maritime cluster at the moment. We have managed to attract companies in the insurance sector. We have managed to get our banks to do some finance and sponsor events. <laughs> so this is good. And of course, uh, I believe that our maritime cluster consists now of uh, at least 200 companies. So I think this is uh, uh, great, and I believe that the future is ours. I have to say that over the last uh, five years, our government has taken a number of initiatives to promote shipping. Um, this uh, number of initiatives, they had to do, of course, with uh, both horizontal incentives, but also things that we've done specific to shipping, like horizontal incentives, they have to do with things uh, introduced like domicile, non-domicile, special tax incentives for people earning uh, above a certain amount. And of course, all these measures, they have to do with the ambition of our government, the ambition of our country to be a, a financial services hub, to actually to be a hub for all these sort of activities, a head of this hub, a place, a safe haven where people can offer services from. And I think we've done a lot towards this direction. And I'm actually sure that um, the next government will do even more and uh, when you have your uh, next event, or when you have a future event, Nicolas, in a few years, uh, the uh, next minister will be able to say even more that they have achieved even more uh, from this podium. So I'm really proud of that. Um, one thing that I'm actually very proud as well is the fact that we have managed to promote maritime education in Cyprus. Um, this is something that many people sometimes they neglect, but I do believe maritime education is great and is extremely important for somebody who wants to have a successful maritime cluster. There was a study done for Greece and they highlighted that actually, that you need maritime education. Um, actually, some, uh, one of the ship owners at the meeting I had with them, he said that the easiest thing to lose stuff is to bring it to Cyprus. And I think this is great because it shows that uh, there are many job opportunities in the shipping sector. And also it shows that you people, you get paid well, or that the shipping sector has at least started to recover a bit. So I do believe that maritime education would be extremely important for the development of our maritime cluster over the next few years. And this is something definitely we have to develop as much as possible. Um, the other thing uh, I wanted, of course, to highlight, and I would not take a lot of time, is the fact that we, from 1st of March, we will start with a new um, uh, structure for the administration. We're going to have the new deputy ministry. 
Uh, Radasa, I'm not sure whether she's here or whether she's coming. We're going to mention she's coming later on. She would be the new deputy minister. I just would like to ask everybody uh, here to support Natasha in her new role. I think it's a big bet for everybody in this room that the new deputy minister for shipping succeeds. And at the end of the day, um, you know, the success of shipping means the success of all the people who are part of shipping. So uh, I would like to call all the people here from the private sector to stand right next to Natasha give her all the assistance she needs. But of course, don't forget that uh, at the end of the day, the administration can do nothing without the cooperation of the private sector. And I think the secret of success over the last few years has been the close cooperation with the private sector. I would like to thank the two unions we have in Cyprus for their excellent support. Um, I see a lot of uh, friendly faces here. I would like to thank them um, because they have offered me all the success, all the support I needed. And of course, whatever we succeeded, we succeeded it together. So, um, on this note, uh, I would like to finish with a personal note, if you allow me. Um, even though the President asked me to continue in the new uh, Council of Ministers, and I would like to <clears throat> thank him for the honor he made me, not for the, only for the proposal for continuation, of course, but for the honor to give me the opportunity to serve this country for the last four years and uh, to serve the shipping industry, uh, even though I was at the ministry, which is huge, ministry with more than nine departments, difficult departments, I have to say, um, shipping was the jewel of the ministry. And of course, we're separating this jewel, but uh, I think this is great. Um, shipping has always been my favorite sector. And it has been my favorite sector because I believe that we can achieve a lot for shipping in Cyprus, and we can achieve a lot for our economy, and we can, of course, achieve even higher targets. So I would like everybody, together with the new administration, to set even higher targets for the next four to five years. I am definitely convinced that we can achieve that. We can achieve much more altogether. I would be part of the private sector community as well. So. I have taken the decision to leave and go back to the private sector where I spent before 20 years. Uh, and that was a personal decision, but I do believe that you have to leave when basically, uh, you know, there's positive climate for you and not uh, hang on a chair and, and basically leave uh, when things are starting getting a bit sour. So on a personal note, I would like to thank everybody here for all their support. It has been my honor to service the shipping industry. It has been my honor to work with you guys. And I'm looking forward to more cooperation. And I will say no more because I don't want to get a mention on George. Thank you.